Hi again, uh, my name is JB from JB Light YouTube. Uh, today I was just going to quickly talk about uh, balancing your blades using the Nazi uh, configurator. So what we're going to do is go to the motors tab and just change the refresh rate so it's about 250 milliseconds. Change the scale to about 0.1. Okay, so what we can do is a quick check now. Um, and we could just have a we could just compare the motors and see how they affect the vibrations on the screen. So the motor and prop combination is what we're looking at. Um, we're going to try to add tape to each blade to reduce the vibrations on the screen. And in this particular case, I've added tape to motor number two. Um, and I've been sort of trying it uh, quite. In a, you know, in a whole lot of different places and different amounts of tape and I still can't get it to balance. I'll quickly show you um, uh, a comparison between all the four different props and you'll just figure out that um, either there's something wrong with the motor or we just need to replace this propeller. So let's have a quick look. Okay, so just be careful here. What I normally do is I'll, um, I'll put it on the table and I'll just hold it down with my hand, make sure all the cables, everything's out of the way. Um, and now you check that box there. Um, if something goes wrong, just uncheck it and the motors will stop. Okay, so check it. Be very careful. Take it up really slowly and we're going to take up motor one first. Motor one is this back motor. Okay, now I'm going to take it up to 1320. It's just an arbitrary value. It's up to you where you want to take yours but they've got to be all the same. So now let's have a quick look at the screen. So we'll just get a, a little bit of an idea of um, what sort of scale we're seeing here. So that's the amount of scale we're seeing at 1320 using a 0.1. Okay, now I'm going to turn that one off and I'm going to go to motor 2. We're going to go back up to 1320. Now you can see that one. We'll have a look at the propeller there. Um, you can see that one, it's actually quite high. It's a lot higher than, um, than the first motor. Okay, we're going to go to motor 3 quickly. Okay, we'll have a look at the screen again. And it's quite good, you can see that compared to motor 2, it's a lot smaller. And motor four. Again, um, you can see the color there. Again, you can see that that's quite small in comparison to motor two. So I'm just going to slow it down a little bit here. So we're going to go to one second update just so that it slows the chart down and I'm going to take the tape off okay and just run it up again to 1320 and again I'm just, just running it up to 1320 and you can see that um, you, just, you just change it so it refreshes a bit quicker. You can see that's considerably worse now um, without the tape. So again, if I check that, it just stops all the motors. So keep that in mind. So hold the thing down. Uh, make sure you're you're safe. Um, and look, this is this is the, probably the best way. This is kind of after you've balanced your props, after you've sort of uh, you're happy with everything. I definitely recommend doing this, and just try to get that last bit of vibration out. Again, I've tried as hard as I can to get the vibration out of this one. I can't, so I'm going to change propellers on motor two. Okay, hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Hope you learnt a little bit, and um, happy flying. See you later.